Morrie's first match in raw colours was a showdown with champion Sydney FC. Just five weeks ago, the striker snared a match-winning double in the 3-1 win over Terry Butcher's side. Third place Sydney was brimming with confidence, chasing a hat-trick of victories. A fully fit David Carney was a vital ingredient in Sydney's push for a top two finish. He joined attacking midfielders Steve Corica and Robbie Middleby in a trio that would provide valuable support to lone striker David Zrilic. Terry McFlynn and Ufik Tale screened the defensive four. With just one goal in their past five matches, Ante Milicic would be instrumental in snapping the goal drought. He paired the inform Mori up front. Brazilian Ronaldo dropped back to right midfield with Sparse Dulevski and skipper Chad Gibson holding court in the middle of the park. Commentary at Aussie Stadium from Simon Hill and Robbie Slater. Lovely turn again by uh, Corica in midfield, but he ran down a bit of a blind alley eventually. Now that's a late challenge, and Chad Gibson is going to be sent off here. It's a straight red. A silly tackle, really, by Chad Gibson. And Queensland Raw are now without their captain, and Fred Farina can't believe it. Chad Gibson knows you cannot with this sort of challenge. His legs well off the ground. Studs are up. Williams had no other option. Well, Chad Gibson, who's worked so hard to get back into this Queensland Raw team, finds himself back in the dressing sheds again after barely 20 minutes of this game. Now a bit of space for Middleby perhaps to exploit, Reddy came a long way and the referee has pointed to the penalty spot for the challenge by Liam Reddy and it's all going horribly wrong here for Queensland Raw. Reddy had to come for the ball and Frank Farina's team having lost a man have now lost themselves a penalty kick. Yellow card two for Liam Reddy. Well, they fell asleep in the free kick. Liam Reddy's committed. Bobby Middleby clearly gets the ball. It's a spectacular tumble. He's clearly cleaned him up. He's going for the ball, Liam Reddy, but he's late. And I don't think Ben Williams really has any other option. Well, Ufuk Tele, of course, scored last week against Adelaide from the spot. And he has the chance to give Sydney FC the lead. It's Tully, it's 1-0 for Sydney, never any question. That was a wonderful penalty, Liam Reddy goes the wrong way, puts it the other side, at a height where you're very difficult for a keeper to stop it, wonderful spot kick, and well, Queensland have gone down to 10 men, they concede straight away. Well, it's a big ass now for Frank Farina's team. Here's David Carney, Carney drives one in, and Reddy saw it late, and made a wonderful stop to put it behind for a corner. He did see it late, here's the shot from Carney, I think it takes a slight deflection there, you can see Reddy going the other way, but he readjusts his feet. There's the deflection, and that's a very good save. Well, that's why he kept so many clean sheets for uh, the Jets last season, Liam Reddy. We also know that Sydney have only... Well, that's a lovely ball in by uh, Trilic and Steve Corica over the top. This is quite an incredible save. Beautiful ball from Checkley. Defenders hate this sort of ball. Running back towards their own goal. Gets a good foot on it. Corica, and that is a world-class save from Liam Reddy. Here's Middleby. Into the centre. Firm header goal, Steve Corica. And Sydney now do have the cushion of a second goal. And it's the Queensland boy who sticks the knife into the team from his home state. Well, it's a wonderful ball into the box. Robbie Middleby. And what a header from Steve Corica. Gets a great leap. Great power in the header. Ready, no chance. But they fell asleep from the throw in Queensland. Really, Steve Corica shouldn't have been allowed to ghost in unmarked like that. Reddy gets a hand to it, but a wonderful finish from Steve Corica. Well, I remember a saying last weekend that uh, Steve Corica doesn't score too many with his head. He won't have scored too many better, that's for sure. Carney and Brosk exchanging headers, and then beautiful pass from Brosk to Fife. There's been plenty of occasions where Sydney plays some decent football, actually. Despite the rumours of being a long ball team, here's Carney, squares it from Robbie Middleby! And that will finish it up for Sydney FC. It's 3-0 and it's three points for the home team.
Well, it's unselfish play by David, David Carney. Here's the ball. It's not really controlled well by Petroski. A little bit, bit lucky. He goes in between two players so he can take a shot himself. I think Ognanovsky just got a foot to this pass. It wasn't enough to take it away from Middleby. Reddy comes out. Middleby slots it. Certainly a greater mood of optimism around Aussie Stadium than there was just three or four short weeks ago. The, the players have been remarkable. It's the players that have turned it around. The players themselves have dug in really deep. They've trained really hard. They knew that there was uh, um, some great ability in this squad. And once, once everybody's fit, it makes a massive difference. Yeah, unfortunately, the red card not only killed us, but I thought killed the game as a spectacle as well. I'm sure the Sydney fans would have been happy, but um, yeah, there was only one team in it.